Be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Whenever the message is geared towards Israelites and the indigenous black people reflecting on themselves and taking responsibility for their actions, these messages do not get the views like the messages that talk about everyone else's involvement in the indigenous black people's downfall. We need balance in the awakening. Speaking about the other species of mankind's contributions to the indigenous black people's downfall is being revealed to increase the Israelites and indigenous black people's knowledge, as well as educating the Israelites about the people they live among. By increasing your knowledge, this helps the indigenous black people in not repeating the mistakes of their ancestors. The scripture said, for a lack of knowledge, his people are destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. For the indigenous black people to not continue in the downward spiral they have been in since the beginning, they must increase their knowledge and obtain truth. Once the indigenous black people's knowledge increase, it becomes difficult for the kingdom of darkness to deceive the indigenous black people. The Most High said knowledge would increase in the last days. Israelites, get the knowledge needed to help your present conditions. As your knowledge increase, the chains begin to fall off. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The other species of mankind is not fighting against the awakening for nothing. That is why they are passing laws to prevent you from increasing your knowledge as well as knowing their identity. The synagogue of Satan want you to forget so they can continue to reign over you. Israelites, as we are making progress in the awakening by fighting back against the kingdom of darkness with truth, we must keep the momentum going. Satan's goal is to get you to quit. For us to keep our foot on the enemy's neck, we must increase our knowledge as well as repent. Repentance brings the power of the Most High into your life. You don't want to do all this work of increasing your knowledge and Satan comes and steal all this wisdom from you because you did not fulfill the next step in deliverance, which is repenting and asking the Most High to step in. The scriptures gave us the parable of the sower. The parable of the sower reveal how some people react once they hear the words of the Most High. We are at the point in this awakening for every Israelite to examine themselves to find their offense. None of us are without sin. We all have fallen short of the glory of the Most High. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Some Israelites believe they are so righteous that they are without fault. The time has come for you to examine yourself. If we did not sin against our Elohim as a nation, we wouldn't be in the land of our captivity. Because of the multitude of sin by the Israelite nation, the Most High judged his people. He will continue to judge his people until he purged the wicked from among his people. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. The parable of the sower gives us an account of how the Israelites hear and react to the words of the Most High. The scriptures reveal there are some Israelites, when they hear the word of the Most High, the word fall by the wayside. The word of the Most High that fell by the wayside are Israelites who hear the word but have no understanding. Because they do not understand, the enemy came and covered up and censored the word so that it would not take root in their heart. 
This is what the synagogue of Satan is doing right now. They shadow ban channels like this and distort views with their algorithm to prevent the word from taking root in the hearts of the Israelites who hear messages like this. The wayside Israelites are those who ignore messages like this when they pop up on their timeline. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received a seed by the wayside. There is nothing new under the sun. The scriptures are exposing how Israelites and indigenous black people react when they hear the word. The Most High is not telling you these things to ignore his warning. He tell you about these things for you to change your ways and not fall into the traps of the kingdom of darkness. In addition to save his people from a life of bondage. The word of the Most High that fall unto stony places are examples of Israelites who find channels like this. Listen to the message, but because they are indoctrinated by religion, the word could not take root. The word that fall into stony places are the religious Israelites. They are joyful for the word, but as soon as they are persecuted, they run and disassociate themselves with the truth. But he that perceived the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. The Israelites who received the word that fell among the thorns. The thorny Israelites are those who are trapped in the beast culture. When they hear the truth, they allow the workers of iniquity to steal it from them. These are the Israelites who lust after the flesh. They are blinded with the affairs of this world that they cannot receive the word. Such Israelites have traded their glory for the lesser. They want what the kingdom of darkness is offering them in the beast system. The word of the Most High has no value to the Israelites who received the word that fell unto thorny places. He also that received a seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. The Israelites who received the word that fell unto good grounds, these are the Israelites that heard the truth and received the truth. Not only did they receive the truth, they understand the word of the Most High as well. These Israelites are allowing the word of the Most High to do the throughout work in them. With their obedience to the Most High, they are fruitful in doing the will of the Most High. These are the Israelites who are led by the Spirit. They are changing their communities. They are taking actions with the guidance of the Spirit of the Most High. These Israelites are a part of the remnant. They love the Elohim of Israel, and they want to see his kingdom come. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Without understanding, you would become stagnant and go around in circles. Your enemies will continue to control you. I can make thousands of videos educating the indigenous black people about the serpent seed and how the kingdom of darkness operate. Without understanding, the knowledge gain is fertile. Do not only share and make messages that expose the serpent seed go viral. Messages about repentance is far more important. Repentance is what brings the presence of the Most High into your life. The scripture said, faith in the Most High comes by hearing the word of the Most High. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Israelites, do not become complacent by just hearing the words of the Most High. The scripture said, we must be doers of the word as well. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. The parable of the sower is a very good example of how Israelites and indigenous black people respond to the words of the Most High, as well as every predicament they find themselves in. How is the Most High to show himself strong through you if you're not taking a step and being a doer of his word? The scripture said the Most High's eyes roam the earth looking for whom he can show himself strong through. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth, 
thou shalt have wars. The scriptures also revealed the Most High ordered the steps of his people. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. How can the Most High order your steps if his people are standing still? If the Most High's eyes roam the earth looking for someone to show himself strong through, then the Most High is looking for individuals who will get up and act. Religion has taught the Israelites and indigenous black people to sit around and wait. They have embedded into the minds of the people of a savior that is coming to rescue them. Israelites, while you wait on the Most High to save you, you must do your part as well. The scripture said, faith without works is dead. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and hath not works? Can faith save him? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. When you hear the word of the Most High, it should inspire you to respond in a way that brings forth action. The indigenous black people are good at debating, fighting in the flesh, and obtaining wisdom. However, once they obtain wisdom, they stop. They do not mobilize to bring the power of the Most High into their lives after they obtain wisdom. Israelites and indigenous black people, it is good to have wisdom, but the scripture said, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. When you have understanding of the words of the Most High, you begin to act on the knowledge gain. For example, when the Most High told me my identity and began to reveal a vast amount of information that can deliver millions of Israelites and indigenous black people from bondage, I could have kept the wisdom to myself. Instead, I choose to obey the Most High and change the vision I had for Open Diary and made myself available for the Most High to show himself strong through. I didn't just hear the word, but I responded by taking action. Now this channel exists. If I didn't listen, the people who benefit from Open Diary would have remained deceived by the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan in the beast system until Yah could find another individual he could show himself strong through. We must be mindful of the decisions we make. The Israelites and indigenous black people must get rid of the selfish mindset. Israelites, you must comprehend that the individual decisions you make does not only affect you. This generation should know because you were born in the land of your captivity because of bad decisions your ancestors made. Remember, the sins of the fathers traveled through a bloodline in the form of generational curses. The Most High said he would punish the children for the iniquity of the fathers until the third and fourth generation. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. It is important for you not to just hear the words of the Most High. Take the next step to become doers of the word. Repenting and asking the Most High to intervene is important. Once you obtain the wisdom and begin to repent of your sins, you must ask the Most High to do what his word said. The scripture said, the word of the Most High will not return to him void. The words of the Most High will do what he sent it to do. Israelites, you must speak the word and ask the Most High to plead your cause. Ask the Most High to vindicate you just as he said that he would. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Israelites, do not only listen to messages that make you feel good for a moment. What is the point of listening to feel good messages without acting? Now you must ask the Most High in prayer what you need him to do for you. Remember, the scripture said the truth will set you free. Once your knowledge increase and you begin to understand the word of the Most High, after repentance, you can begin to tap into the many promises the Most High made to his people. The word of the Most High can't come alive if you don't speak the word. In addition, remind the Most High of his words. The kingdom of darkness did not use the synagogue of Satan to alter the scriptures for no reason. Satan know the moment you understand the word of the Most High and begin to be doers of the word, it will accelerate the times of the heathens. 
That is why the workers of iniquity in the beast system prevent you from reading and writing. They conspired against you to cut you off. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The promises the Most High made to his people cannot be fulfilled unless his people are aware of those promises. After you repent and submit to the statutes and laws of the Most High, ask the Most High to do as his words declared. These are the necessary steps every Israelite who seeks to be delivered must take. Do not stop at obtaining truth via the word of the Most High. Take it a step further and get the Most High evolved in every area of your life. Many of you need the Most High to intervene at your jobs, your health, family, finances, and the other adverse situations. Do not wait until everything starts to fall apart to seek the face of the Most High. Israelites, I guarantee when you begin to speak the word and become a doer of the word, you will begin to see the Most High's sovereignty. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. When the other species of mankind hear the truth, it pierces their spirits to convict them. The workers of iniquity do not sit and watch our videos, cry, and do nothing. They take the next steps in making sure the indigenous black people remain oppressed. They act. They change laws alter history, and use censorship to interfere. The other species of mankind don't just listen to our messages, slander the awakening, and go to sleep. They will do everything that they can to see that the Israelites and indigenous black people do not mobilize. They will give you everything that you need to destroy yourself. Presently in the beast system, many states have issued executive orders to ban many from increasing their knowledge. They went as far as to remove from their school system courses that talk about their diabolical involvement in the indigenous black people's history to deceive many from seeing them for who they are. The synagogue of Satan is passing laws to protect the other species of mankind from people who are knowledgeable about real history. The Holy Spirit is revealing truth in the last days. The workers of iniquity know if the truth goes viral, in addition, the Israelites and indigenous black people know how to speak the word to bring the judgment of the most high. Their end has come. The synagogue of Satan is doing what they've always done, manipulate the situation to make themselves the victim to gain favor in the sight of the people in the beast system. Once they deceive the people to join their cause, they pass laws to continue to oppress the indigenous black people. Discussing real history has become a crime in the beast system, fulfilling the scriptures. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Israelites and indigenous black people, the other species of mankind do not sit around and watch us get wisdom and understanding. They gather to shut down the indigenous black people any way they can. Remember the scripture said they would surely gather. If the indigenous black people become doers of the word, their enemies will fall when they gather. Censorship is their way of countering the awakening, disruptive ads and flooding the media with misinformation about the indigenous black people are ways the synagogue of Satan is fighting against the awakening. The indigenous black people's downfall is the other species of mankind's victory. Very soon, social media will implement the same guidelines as the school system. The synagogue of Satan already created a slogan for their diabolical cause, critical race theories. Very soon videos and channels that talk about critical race theories will become a community guideline violation, just as they call freedom of speech, hate speech, to censor the truth to stop the indigenous black people from getting wisdom and understanding. When it comes to the serpent seed, it doesn't matter if the critical race theories are true. This is the kingdom of darkness way of countering what the Most High said would take place in the last days. Knowledge would increase. The scriptures reveal a time is coming when the people will be looking for the word of the Most High and they will not find it. 
Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Israelites and indigenous black people, what are you going to do when the synagogue of Satan fulfill prophecy by making it difficult to find the words of the Most High? Remember, the Most High revealed these things to you to help you and to prevent you from becoming prey to your enemies. You must preserve the wisdom obtained from the awakening. It is extremely important for you to know what to do with the wisdom gained from the awakening. When the word of the Most High becomes scarce, do not be like our ancestors in the middle of their redemption, complaining and wanting to go back into bondage because life in the wilderness became too difficult. Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. The people of the Most High must get up and become doers of the word. Israelites, you have the knowledge needed to get the Most High to fight for you. You've obtained enough knowledge to change your present circumstances. Do not let your spiritual journey become a daily routine of listening to great messages and not elevating from glory to glory. The words of the Most High are alive. Become doers of the word to see the word of the Most High in action. The other species of mankind do not only complain and slander the awakening. They band together on one accord to come against you. Likewise, Israelites and indigenous black people, you must take action as well. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity, and cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. The Most High is not going to violate our free will. We must ask him to intervene. Social media giants like TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and the many others join forces to oppress black content creators. They do this publicly. They justify their actions by not valuing what you bring to their platform while they are making billions off your content. If the kingdom of darkness can come together on one accord to oppress the indigenous black people, how come the indigenous black people can't come together on one accord to cry out and spare not? And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel, who delivered them, even Othniel, the son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war. And the Lord delivered Chushan, Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand. And his hand prevailed against Chushan, Rishathaim. And the land had rest forty years. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, died. It was when the Israelites cry out and pray to the Most High to help their situation in the land of Mizraim, the Most High heard their cries and saved his people. And it came to pass, in process of time, that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and their cry came up unto God by reason of the bondage. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Israelites, you must cry out so that the Most High can hear the voice of his people crying out to him. Israelites and indigenous black people, the awakening is here to bring change, as well as set many indigenous black people free from bondage. The awakening is not about debating the heathens and becoming self-righteous. That is why there is a need for balance in the awakening. Once you establish a personal relationship with the Most High and being led by the Holy Spirit, you can begin to make your petition known to the Most High. That is how the Most High will fight for you. That is how his words come alive. The heathens know the only way to keep the indigenous black people subjugated is to unite. The result of the heathens mobilizing, laws being changed, stricter community guidelines on social media, increase of police brutality to invoke the spirit of fear into the indigenous black people. Israelites, you must do your part and not just listen to feel good messages. The time has come for you to take action by becoming doers of the word.
When you begin to remind the Most High of His words, you will begin to see the kingdom of darkness lose its dominion in the physical realm. The heathen kingdom will fall. What they meant for evil will backfire back upon them. To see the Most High sovereignty, you must remind Him of His words by speaking the word. Put me in remembrance, let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Israelites, do not ever forget that you were born on a battlefield. The time has come for you to apply the truth you are learning via the word of the Most High to your life to bring forth deliverance. We need the Most High to shut down the kingdom of darkness. If the people of the Most High begin to cry out, the times of the heathens can finally come to an end. And if they bethink themselves in the land whither they are carried captive, and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, saying, We have sinned, we have done amiss, and have dealt wickedly. If they return to thee with all their heart, and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whether they have carried them captives, and pray toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, and toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house which I have built for thy name, then hear thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, their prayer and their supplications, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people which have sinned against thee. Now, my God, let, I beseech thee, thine eyes be open, and let thine ears be attent unto the prayer that is made in this place. <laughs> 